let's take a look. In choice one, right, for a one unit increase in x, it looks like each time what I end up doing is adding 3 to get to the next y. Now when that happens, when the y values change by a constant addition or subtraction for a constant increase in x, that is a linear function. This is linear. We're looking for exponential. Let's take a look at choice 2, right? In this case, what I see, right, to go from 2 to 7, I add 5. To go from 7 to 12, I add 5. To go from 12 to 17, I add 5. And to go from 17 to 22, I add 5. So again, that's a linear function. And again, I want to point out the fact that these are linear because on the exam that you're taking in two days, it could be which of the following tables represents a linear function, right? And linear functions are ones where for a constant increase in x, you get either a constant increase or decrease in y. Talking about a constant decrease, let's take a look at choice 4 and then we'll see the correct choice is choice 3. But choice 4, right, where we go from negative 9.5 to negative 12, that is a decrease in negative 2.5. And we see that that happens each time we keep subtracting 2.5 to get to the next one. And I know that's a little bit challenging because of the negative numbers there. 